Hey guys, welcome back to Rudder Renovations where today we're going to add a light to this closet, which is our pantry. So it'll make your closet go from this to that. Hope y'all enjoy. Let's get started. Guys, if you would, if you like it, please like, please subscribe. Also, if you want to comment below any questions you may have, let me know. I'd be happy to answer anything. Let's get started. All right. So first, keep in mind that this closet has no power whatsoever. It doesn't have a switch. doesn't have any light overhead. And so what we're going to do is we're going to walk through the process. First, we're going to wire the closet. We'll wire this switch, wire the overhead light, and then we'll tie it into some existing power. Here we go. All right, so here's where we're gonna be putting our light switch box. You're gonna measure about 48 inches to the bottom of the light switch. And then if you've ever used one of these remodel boxes before, if, as you tighten that screw, it's gonna pull that tab and it'll be between the tab on the front of the box and the sheet rock and it'll hold it steady. You can go ahead and trace the inside of the box onto the wall and I just use a nail to make sure that there's no studs, especially this close to another adjoining wall, making sure that there's no wood in between there before I go and cut out a big hole. There's the hole, as you can see, ready for the box. Then I'm gonna measure the ceiling. I just measured midway between the two walls, so it'll be in the center. And I did it as close to the front wall as possible so we can see all the shelves in this pantry. I also did the same thing I did for the switch, just made sure there's no wood around. You can also get up in the attic, but I didn't feel like getting up there. So I just started with a nail and then did the same thing. There, this box, if you look, if I, tr I trace the exterior line of that box and there's a little, there's about a quarter of an inch um, to where you need to imagine cutting a quarter inch less than what the exterior trace of that box is. So here you can see I'm just tracing the circle and that's about where you want to cut and to make sure that the box is going to fit and have something to pinch and hold on to whenever you screw those tabs in. Once you have the hole cut out, you can do a test fit and then just trace whatever marks you need to cut. In this box, they have where the tabs stick out and there's little notches in the box. So you'll have to remove those parts of the sheetrock where the box can actually fit up there. Now that you got the two boxes installed, let's go up to the attic. Here's the hole, here's the uh, wall going right here. What we're gonna do is we're gonna find where it meets up with that adjoining wall in the closet, which is right here. So there's that wall, there's a the sheetrock, which is the ceiling, here's this wall. We know that we need to be between here, this area, and where the door is. So somewhere right in here should be good to drill a hole I'm gonna use a paddle bit and the size is a 5 8 and then we'll take our wire and then we'll feed it down there to our hole so here we go While we're here, I'm gonna go ahead and fish a little bit of this wire here down. That way we have it and we can wire the box up and the switch at the same time. Here it looks like the wire was fed down a little too far, but that's okay. You just pull it up. Cut off what you don't need, or you can just strip off the end. And you'll do the same. Remember, we fed more than enough wire down there, so I just cut it and then fed the wire back up into the attic that was connected to the reel, and then spliced this wire and got it ready and pulled it through the box. So here, we now have the switch and the box or light fixture wired, and so now we're feeding down new wire that's gonna be connected to our power. So now we're giving power to the box or the switch and we're pulling it through so what I do um, is I will 
you can see put a piece of tape on there just so I can mark and remember as I pull these uh, pull the slack out of the line back up in the attic to remember which one was the hot wire the power wire and which one um, is the one going to the switch to turn it on turn the light fixture on once you get your box tightened up you can go back up into the attic there is our light and this is our new wire that we're going to connect to a power supply and we'll connect it right here to a box that I have that's only for one outlet whoever ran the power for this house only ran it to one outlet so I know that it's not going to be overloaded here so we'll go ahead and fish this wire through tighten it up to where it's not going to pull out and then we'll go ahead and wire up the neutrals the hot and the ground and then put the plate back on all right next is the wiring of the switch with the switch in the off position you'll see off up at the top that hot will go right there so where we marked it with the blue tape we'll put that onto the, that screw and I'll put the other hot on the bottom screw twist the neutrals together when some finish with that and then I'll twist the grounds together and leave enough excess that way I can connect it to the ground on the bottom of the switch and once you have the switch all wired up you can go ahead and screw that into the box once you have the switch wired up then you can connect the light fixture in this case I had an old light fixture lying around so I'm just gonna use that because it makes no sense to go buy one especially if this is gonna be in a pantry closet so it's pretty straightforward you just wire the hot to the hot the neutral the ground in this instance is gonna go to a plate that holds the actual light fixture in place once you get it secured you put a light bulb in it you'll go flip the breaker back on and then if everything was done correctly you should have that result if you have any kind of globe in this instance I have a globe just attach it and that's it thanks again for joining us for rudder renovations if you liked it please like it comment below if you have any questions feel free to subscribe and get any new videos that I post to help you with your home renovations Hope you all have a great day. I hope this helped you all out. Peace and God bless. Talk to you later.